Hello there. This is the Light Channel, and it's another week and a fresh video that we hope will contribute something to you ending up living your dream. Why are you in business? Exactly why? What is that critical variable that can only keep you in business? In fact, the most important thing that when it is missing, you really do not have any business. That thing is your customer. Many times as entrepreneurs, we forget the fact that the customer is the reason why we are in business. And so, this week and hopefully won't go more than two videos, we want to quickly distill a few facts about customer management. As you know, the last two videos we focused on employee management. Now, we want to quickly touch on the concept of customer management. And like we said, the customer is the reason why we are in business. They are the ones that pay our salaries, they pay for the rent, they give us an opportunity to have the lifestyle that we want. Why? Because we are able to solve their problems. So, what are those things that you need to pay attention to at every single time to ensure that you don't wake up one day and realize that you are actually on your own and there are no customers to consume whatever you are selling. The first thing you must know is that the only reason why you had those customers in the first place was what? You were providing value. You were solving problems. You need to keep your eye on the problem. You need to keep your eye on the customers. Why? Their needs change. You know, if you are a student of psychology, you know about a Maslow's hierarchy of need. What you find out is that customers do not stay at one point as individuals. What was a big deal yesterday that people are paying for can all of a sudden become a given. I don't know whether you have noticed how much of the uh, professional camera market the mobile phones has eaten into. I mean, a few years ago, if you can remember, telcos were busy trying to entice subscribers with, um, SIM, with, with, with SIM backup kit, where they give you a small chip and then you can do some small backup. All of a sudden, technology has moved on now that those things are even becoming given. You got big and endless space in the cloud where you can back things up and you don't have to pay a dime. If you do not keep your eye on the need and this problem you are trying to solve and on your customer, you will wake up one day and realize that a lot has changed. Until a few years ago, as a young man, I was very crazy about photography. I had many cameras and I cannot forget how much of my money as a student I spent on buying Kodak films and Kodak camera. Are you aware that Kodak is now dead? Oh yes. Why? Because right in there before, the market was changing and they were not paying attention. So, you cannot afford to take your service delivery and your market for granted. You need to remember that the reason why you got into business was because you found a problem that you are trying that you were trying to solve and you succeeded in solving it and the market was willing to pay you Keep your eye on that value. And if you have not read this book called The Blue Ocean Strategy, you need to go and read it. The cheaper you can deliver higher service, the better for you to stay in market and have a bigger share of the market. So that's point number one. Keep your eye on the value offering that you are given. And before I leave that point, let me say that as we speak about product, we are also particularly speaking about service. As a matter of fact, the divide line between product and service is now extremely very blurry. So, it's not just about you having a product that solves the problem. Your service delivery model must also be top-notch. You must know where the customer is going, how they like to be served. I mean... 
it shocks me to think that in how many years of social media, even airlines now are using social media as means of contacting their customer to, to, to check in on their flight, to report delay in arriving at the airport. It's just incredible how smart organizations are reading the customers and meeting the customers where they are. Because only businesses that are smart and sensitive to meet the customers where they are, they are the ones who are going to remain in the market in the long run. And that is why there is probably no need for you to be making that hefty investment in research and development anymore. Because the name of the game has changed. It is now connect and deploy. It's no longer research and development. It's to connect and deploy. Set up a system. Technology affords you all that benefit. Listen in on what the customers are saying across the social media, across the different platforms. Hear them. And then if you are smart enough and you can distill all that chatter and all that conversation into a, into a few critical points, it is not likely that you wake up one day and you find a customer gone. So this is very, very important. And that is why I've spent some time on it. The reason why you are in business is the value offering that you brought. Keep your eye on the, on the problem you are trying to solve. Keep your eye on the customers you are trying to serve and ensure that you keep them excited as you go on. I leave you with a question. If this wave of electric cars continue as it is right now and it becomes more affordable, and like some countries are saying, in five years, there may not be fuel-driven vehicles in those countries. Question, how will it affect Nigeria? How will it affect your country? How will it affect your business? I'm not going to dwell on that. I don't have the time. But I'm just painting this as a word image for you to know that when we say keep your eye on the customer and keep your eye on the problem you are trying to solve, we are speaking of real challenges and you had better woken up to that. Okay, so I'm surprised that I've gone so many minutes this week, but I do not think I want the video to be too long. So I'm just going to rest it here this week. Next week, I'm going to pick up on the other four that I'm trying to talk about in terms of customer management. You really need to ensure you don't miss any of these videos because your business may depend on it. So, until I come again next week to pick up the conversation where I dropped it, um, don't ever forget that I am always looking forward to hearing from you on all the channels through which you can reach us. Please send in your comments and if there are things you would like us to cover as we go along, feel free to raise those questions. We will identify them and address them in one of the videos that we roll out every week and we hope that one way or the other, you will find value watching them. Share this as widely as you can and um, we will be grateful because that is what keeps us in the business. Until I come your way again next week, don't ever, ever forget that TMAC is still my name. Yes, it has not changed. And all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. Thanks for being here every time and see you next week. Bye.